Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Smart Art tutorial series, you will learn how to create family tree chart using Smart Art. You will know how to set up the text to create the diagram that looks like this. So first, let us go to set up the text and then convert this text into a Smart Art diagram. If you observe the text, you will see a number of levels of bullet points here and each level represents a generation. You will understand this much better when I convert this text into a diagram. So first let us select all the text here, right click and go to convert to smart art. As always we will ignore these default options and go to more smart art graphics. And since the relationship we want to portray is a hierarchy relationship, I'll search for options under hierarchy. Since a family tree has an orientation from bottom up, the only option that pretty much gives this bottom up relationship is this one called as architecture layout. So we will select that and press OK. As soon as I do that, you can see that each level of bullet text gets arranged into a different generation. For example, the core or the root is here and then the next level is portrayed here and the next level is portrayed here and so on. You can have as many generations as you want as long as you keep on adding levels to bullet points. Once you create the diagram, you can make it look a little more appealing visually by changing its colors. You can choose any of these options here. I'm going to select this one called as colorful range accent colors 4 to 5. Then I would like to add some smart art style to make it look more appealing. So I'm going to use this option called intense effect. And that is it. Once this is done, you can always um, replace these relationships with names. And you can also add animation to reveal each level one by one. So I'm going to go to animations and the animation entrance effect I'm going to use is float in. And usually this is a very slow animation. So I'm going to uh, reduce the duration from 1 to 0.5. So there we go. And I don't want all these, the entire block coming as one in animation. So I'm going to go to this option called effect options. And I'm going to choose level one by one. Now let me go to slideshow and show you how each generation how each generation comes in and here is the root and you can talk about father mother and then you can talk about the parents of father and mother of father and then you can talk about the parents of mother and so on so that is how you make a family tree this is a simple network relationship network relationships are quite often used in business presentations I wish to show you some example templates taken from our PowerPoint CEO packs which show simple network relationships. Here is an example which shows team clustering and as you can observe each level is differentiated using a different color. This is a decision tree and this has a horizontal orientation and each level can then be explained in detail. You can also edit this diagram very easily because the elements are completely editable. Let us go to the next one which is about a 3D organization structure and this again shows a bottom-up relationship. If you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such professional graphics for yourself then you can always take a look at our PowerPoint CEO packs volume 1 and 2. The two CEO packs have more than 1600 fully editable charts and graphics for CEOs and business presenters. Just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. Hope you like this tutorial. To learn more such tutorials, please visit us at presentationprocess.com. The site has more than 500 useful articles to improve your presentation skills and PowerPoint skills. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.